In this video lesson, we are going to look at how to create an option group on a Microsoft Access form. We've been working with forms for a few videos now, and I've got a form here that I'm going to open in Design View. It's got two fields on it. Remember, these are bound controls because they are linked to the data source. We've looked at a number of ways of adding data to the form, uh, controls to the form. One is to simply select a new field from the field list. So we have our field list button there, and we can click and drag the county field, for example, onto our form. That allows us to type in on the text box the information that's required, and that's linked back to the table. That was simply adding a field by clicking and dragging. Let's delete that. We also looked at using the control toolbox to add a number of different controls. We first of all looked at the combo box, which allowed us to use a wizard to either type in the information, such as the county name, or look that information up in a table that already existed, and then type that information in. As you go through the wizard, you can choose to store that information in the county field. Delete that one as well. We also looked at the option buttons here, which are the checkbox, the option button, and the toggle button to define the type of display that a yes no field will have. Because we had the option button selected first, we get the round option or sometimes called radio button there. But in this lesson, we're going to look at the option group. The option groups allows us to allow the data entry person to make a, a, a choice based on what we enter during this wizard. So again, just make sure that your control wizards are switched on. It really does make life a lot simpler. We click on the option group and then click and drag to draw the control onto the form. It asks us what labels we want to use. We are basically labeling the choices that are available to the user. We'll just put a few counties in there. I can't type. There we go. So as it says, an option button contains a set of option buttons. We could choose only one option when we go through this process for the user. But these are the labels that we've now set up. We go through the wizard. Do we want the user to have a default choice? We leave that on Cumbria or any of the others. Or if we don't want a default, then we can take that option out. We then go next to go through the wizard. We can assign these labels a value. And the default is the first label as a value of one. The reason for this will become apparent in a moment. So you can change these numbers but I'm quite happy for those to stay as one, two, three. A reason for not having them as one, two, three is if perhaps you were linking this to some kind of rating system. Do we want to save the value for later use? Remember that just saves it to the form, but nowhere else. Or do we want to store the value in the field? That's the most likely option. And I'm going to say yes. And I'm linking this to the county field. Linking it to the county field because that is the kind of label that we were typing in. Carry on through the wizard. We can then choose what our display is going to look like. We've got preview window here, a sample. And currently we've got option buttons selected. And that's what it would look like. We can choose check boxes or toggle buttons. And then we can choose the appearance 
of those various options. I quite like shadowed. We then click next. What is the caption? This is a label that we're going to give to these. So um, I'm going to label this as county and then finish. And you can see there that I've got a label of county and there are my option buttons selected. If I have a look at that now in form view, we can see how that works. For each record, I can click a button to choose what the county is. Move on to the next record. And if I go back to the previous one, you'll see that's pre-selected. It's stored that selection. So we'll go through a few, just selecting them as random counties. Obviously with check boxes, there would be ticks in the boxes. Depends what the display options that you chose. And let's see what effect this has on the data. We'll close that form and save it. Now when we go to our data, you can see the county has just got one in it, or two, or three, depending on the button that we pressed. So why would we have this rather than Essex, or Cumbria, or, or Lancashire? Well, one of the reasons is to save space. I've typed Cumbria, Essex and Lancashire in as a label that takes up a, a finite amount of space, but it doesn't use up space every time I use it. I could set this field to be a simple number field, which would take up a lot less space than a text field would for 50 or 60 or 100 characters. So that was looking at using the options group.